a very warm welcome, sir. May I request the Honorable President, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, to open the conference by lighting the lamp. I'm sure most of you present here have already interacted with Sri Naveen Raheja, President Naredko, whose energy and perseverance can leave even die-hard die workaholics breathless. His passion for real estate almost matches his passion for protecting wildlife. And I say this with utmost confidence. The calls I get from him asking how he can partner NDTV in saving the country's wildlife definitely outnumber any I get for real estate-related topics. In fact, I'm left wondering how does he get time to ensure that Raheja Developers backs the Best Developer Award for two consecutive years and also manages to write wildlife articles for six magazines to a Darshan show and ensure that his films are aired on National Geographic. May I invite Sri Naveen Raheja, President Naredko, to give us the welcome speech. Shri Pranam Bukherji Ji, Honorable President of India, Shri Ajay Makanji, Honorable Minister for Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation, Shri Sunil Mantri, Brigadier R.R. R. Singh, Shri Pranam Bukherji Ji, Honorable President of India, Shri Ajay Makanji, Honorable Minister for Housing and Urban Poverty Alleviation, Shri Sunil Mantri, Brigadier R.R. R. Singh, my real estate friends and all the top dions of the real estate industry who are present here, the experts of real estate, the government officers, the media, the students, the architects and the planners. It is a great pleasure and privilege for me today to welcome the Honorable President and to welcome you all for this distinguished event, which I dreamt long time ago with the solo motive that can we change this country? Can we bring, give housing to that poor person? With that motive in mind, I have been struggling since last two years to seek appointment also with the people who will really matter, who can really carry the message and weight to bring about this change. Naretko, 
is an organization which was formed with the support of the Ministry of Housing, Government of India. And over the years, Naredco has played its role in, prove, in improving housing and real estate sector in the country by interacting with developers, with, by interacting with customers, by interacting with the uh, government offices across all the states. And we have been working together to try to bring this. Housing, we know, is a catalyst of change for socio-economic development of a family. If a family has a shelter, you can ensure that they can live and they can have dignity of living and working in this country. And this is the best growth divide, uh, driver also for the nation because it is the second largest employment creator after agriculture sector. And it is the third largest GDP creator for this country. Yet, it remains most neglected and there is so much of ambiguity and confusion across all se se sectors, all sections that developers are seen as not a respectable lobby. Probably they are the people who have money. They don't know that money actually belongs to the customers. But they have to carry on their mission, they have to work. And it is a matter of great concern for all of us that even after 65 years of independence, we have failed to give Makan to our people. There is current shortage of over 28 million houses in the country. The country is actually growing because of IT and telecommunication. That will continue to bring in the job seekers from our agriculture sector to our urban, urban sector with their dreams in their eyes. You cannot stop it. When you cannot stop it, then you have to give some solution. We should not let the things worsen further at least. 95% of our population today who are the real workers, who are the real growth drivers, they cannot afford a house in a metropolitan city. And it is extremely unfortunate situation after almost two to three generations have passed after independence. You know, one parent goes, another parent comes, but still you don't have a house, don't have a shelter. In 1951, when close to independence, we had a population of 36.1 million and our total urbanization was just 20% at that time. In 1991, it became 25%. It is where the reforms started. By 2011, our urbanization is 31%. And by 2040, more than 50% of the country will be urbanized. So where are we going to keep these 50% of today 1.2 crore people, which will further increase? Where are we going to put them? So we have to actually look into that in last 60 years, how many housing units have been created by government agencies. They have not fulfilled even a small percentage of the total requirement. And that is why we look lot of slum cl clusters, Zugi, Jhonpuris, and unauthorized housing developing all across the country. Should we not sit together, introspect, and work together in an honorable manner to find a solution to this? There is a need that we all agree, accept, and again press the reset button. Because without that, you cannot change this country. We have to change our mindset. We have to identify problems. There is multiplicity of clearance process, which is happening. Any department is coming and putting one clearance, another clearance and regulation, so, so that you have to cross that hurdle. You know, the, there are these kind of over 50 to almost 70 toll barriers, which a developer has to cross 
before you get permission to start construction and which may take between almost up to at times even up to 5 years before you can start your construction